Hey everyone, uh, now we're going to do some movements inside the warehouse. We're going to move stuff from a bin to another bin. Uh, some people call that reclassification. Actually in the system we use a reclassification journal if you're doing it manually. And we'll show you that as well. Uh, but basically it's fairly simple. You have, you know, bin A and <laughs> bin B. And so you can move stuff from bit one bin to another. Uh, obviously, when you when you receive, you automatically go into the receiving bin. And if you want to move from the receiving bin to a storage, let's say a freezer or you know a fridge or something like that, you know you have to do this movement. Um, and like I said, some people call it reclass. Um, actually, in, in the system, the journal is called Reclass. We call it Move in the app. Um, and you can move things around. You can actually set up bins to not allow outbound movement, only inbound movement, or vice versa. So there's all kinds of setups. I'm not going to get into that in detail when I show the, uh, the actual application. And we will actually move also into a production in. Um, bin so we can do the next part which has to do with production. So let's take a look at the system. Let's keep going. Uh, now we're going to move the product from the receiving bin to a storage bin. So let's go into bin contents first and just uh, remind ourselves where we're at. So in my receiving bin I have item 1105 which is the lamb shack. I got 2,000 pounds right now of that and what I want to do is just move that into one of the uh, the storage bins, we can just put it into uh, the freezer. So freezer one, uh, level two, I think this might be shelf one. Uh, so let's put it in here and, and see it pop in. We can just put all the 2000. Actually, let's put 1000 using item reclassification journal and the other 1000 using uh, the app. So we're gonna do this in two ways. First, the manual way. So the item reclassification journals are used to basically move things around in the system or change the properties of those and uh, it's the manual way so it's going to be a little bit more cumbersome than doing it in the RF app uh, obviously if you're in the warehouse you would do it in the app and even if you aren't uh, and you need to do it manually this might actually be good to do in the app but manual way first so let's go ahead and pick up the uh, lamp shank so 1105 uh, and go into the New York location we are taking from the receiving bin and we're putting into which one? Uh, let's just put it into the FR1 S1 L3 and we'll put 1000 pounds. Now I, oops, 1000. I need to specify the lot number, of course, because uh, everything is lot tracked. We're a food uh, company uh, so, or food platform, so traceability is very important. So here I need to actually go into the tracking lines then and pick the lot number that I want. Um, and I have the lot number here, 11, and that's perfect. So now we just close that out and I go ahead and post this. So let's go ahead and post. Now that's posted. And if I go into my bin contents to just see what happened, now I have a thousand left in the receiving bin and I got 1000 in the uh, freezer, the S1L3. So let's put the S1L2, um, let's do that with, uh, with the app. So we can see how much easier that is. If I'm in the app, I can just go ahead and search for my lamp shank, see what I have. And it's just gonna give me a list of tiles where I see all the lamp shanks that I have in the warehouse. And I got here in the receiving bin, I got 1000, and that's lot 11. All I have to do is just click on that, and you can see that it just fills everything out for a bin movement. And I wanted to put this into FR1S2 L1, I believe. Um, maybe we can just go in here and verify that that was it. Let's say I wanted to put it in FR1. Let's put it in S1 L2. <laughs> yeah, it's this. Normally I would just be scanning uh, the bin code in the warehouse, but since I'm not scanning, I'm just sitting here in my office, I type it in. So if I post this, it goes ahead and posts, and I can now just go back and take a look at my bin contents. I'm just gonna refresh the screen. I should have now uh, yep, I have the item here and I have the item here and I have nothing left in the receiving bin for this item. Actually, it's not even showing up. 
And uh, if I go into the app, I want to verify that Lamshank is there. I can just go into search, just take uh, take a look at that. So I have FR1 S1 L1, which is the one I did manually. And then I have FR1 S1 L2, which is one I did through the app. And I actually do have from previous as FR1 S1 L3. Yeah, so this is all the lamb shank that I have and where it is. So do it both ways. Um, obviously, the app is the way to go if you're in the warehouse uh, just scanning around, but you can do it manually as well.